Hi folks. Uh, I've had several requests to actually show how we uh, I put together some of these uh, incubators here that I built into the coolers. The wiring is uh, what seems to bite everybody so bad, so I uh, wanted a little more detailed uh, instructional video on how I do this, so I'm going to do my best, okay? The power source is where you're going to want to start out. And the best power source that I've seen with this is just an old extension cord. Got this from Goodwill. I don't think the tag's still on it. That's over there. It was a dollar it, uh, at our local Goodwill store. So, what you want to do to start with is to take this. You want to save this end right here, okay? It's real important because uh, you see right here, you're, we're going to run a computer fan in these things. Sizes vary. This right here is a um, is an 80 millimeter. Uh, I run 130 millimeter in some, run a 50 in some, but they're all 12 volt DC. This one here ranges from 9 volt to 13 volt. It's variable then. The, the lower the voltage, the slower it turns, higher the voltage, the faster it turns. So uh, I'm actually running a, about a 10 volt setup on this one and that's about the right speed uh, for this size box. So you want to take your, uh, your extension cord right here, which is going to be your main power source for everything in this box. And you want to cut it, leave about six or eight inches of lead right here because you're going to need this again and cut it right here. And what you're going to do basically is you're going to take this where you've cut it, leaving it, leaving the wires right there where they come apart and you're going to skin them and flip them over just like this right here to where you can leave the wires exposed and put them together. And uh, I'll show you how we do that. All right. Pause so I can get my little box cutter here. So be careful. Ladies, gentlemen, try not to cut yourself. It don't take much to get this thing started, see? And once you get it started, it pulls apart. Pulls apart fairly easy. This is an old one, so it's built pretty good. That should be good enough right there. And now, I'm gonna try to keep that straight. So, now we're gonna split the other side. Just like that to get it started. Okay, that's good enough to work with. So these are gonna to go together just like this. Here's a regular pair of wire strippers. You just take your wire strippers and you want your good lead. Because like I said, everything's gonna hook into these right here. that in silence is kind of boring but just as for for demo right now everybody recognizes these right here Lowe's has got them every hardware store has got them you can get them in a bundle for a, a buck or two but you take these wires right here and you put it together and see these nuts right here they just twist on like that right there and they hold all your wires in place we're just doing this as a demo right now to kind of give you an idea how we'll set this up See, all right, here's, this is the point we're gonna start from right here. Now, the main reason, of course, that plugs into the wall, any socket. And of course, the reason we're doing this right here is most of my power sources, as you see right here on this incubator, 